This is um, an attempt to demonstrate the difference between the traditional um, tungsten halogen type lighting that, that gives a yellow wash and the um, new LED strip lighting um, that will enhance um, the true colours of the minerals. After um, about a year of research, the um, strips that um, have been determined to be the most um, closest to a neutral white, in other words not a yellow or a blue white, are the ones that are being demonstrated in um, these cabinets. Now, first of all, I'll show you the um, traditional lighting that I've been using for years, um, is the um, tungsten-based lighting, which up to now I've been um, quite satisfied with. But the problem is, once you've seen the difference in the colour of LED lighting and how it um, enhances the colours and also the um, glistening effect because of the multiple light sources producing sparkles off the facets and even lighting, um, you really want to um, move into LED lighting. Now the reason I put the two little cars is no matter what you collect, you will see that this one under the tungsten lighting is sort of too well lit above and the, in the shadow at the side, whereas this one is just nicely illuminated all over. More specifically, if we look at um, something like this um, smoky quartz, it's a shame because you're getting awful background reflections, but that's quite attractive. But if I just go around and pop it into the other side and then go around to the front again, you'll see that that smoky quartz has actually died as far as it's become flat, flatter as far as the colouring is concerned. It's become yellower and um, not so sparkly. Likewise, if I took this um, green still bite, in this side it's in shadows and quite yellow, but if I go round the other side now and bring them both back. I'll take get the smoky, pop that back to there. And then we take this green still bite. When I put it in this side, you'll see the true colour coming out, which is just a nice even green, not a sort of yellowy washed out um, colour that the other lighting, the tungsten, produced. Now, more emphatically, if we're looking at this tray of minerals here, I think pretty well you can see that the colour rendition is very good, but if we slide it across into this lighting, you should see the difference quite markedly as being yellowy, ye a yellow wash. Just do it again. So this is the usual lighting. If I move it across, you see the change into a, like a daylight colour. Now, the LED strips that we've researched quite extensively over the last year have been very tricky to um, establish what's called absolutely neutral white. There's most of them on the market, and we have tried them, are either very blue biased or yellow. And to find a, a light that's absolutely white, as these are, has been the trick. And that's why it's taken about a year. Um, at the moment we're just costing them. They're not exactly cheap. But when you think in terms of the value of the minerals or whatever you collect displayed um, and the fact that at last you'll be able to see them in their true light as in proper sort of north light or white, true white light, bringing their true colours out. Um, I think a lot of collectors will be very interested in 
obtaining them. So if we move to the yellowy light now, you see this hideous wash of yellow killing a lot of things as far as their colour is concerned off. So in the shows that I do, as far as the minerals are concerned, I will be demonstrating these lights and explaining how they work. Um, specifically, for instance, we've um, found a profile that will go on the edge of glass and hide the light strip behind. And then these are 12 volts and they're all operated from a small transformer. And what we'll be doing is putting prices together for what would be considered a kit. That's the strips that generate virtually no heat compared to, for instance, a strip at the top there is a total of 6 watts and virtually no heat whatsoever. You know, you can just put your finger on the bulb. Whereas if we go to here, these are, I think, uh, 20 or 30 watts each, so we've got like 100 and 120 watts of heat burning away. Whereas here, a total of three shelves times six, 18 watts. So very, very low heat and current use. But that being said, it's really the color rendition that's um, so exciting. Um, insofar as you get a lovely true color and you also get sparkling effect because of the multiple light sources. So even minerals that are quite dark and dreary come up very nice. And then the comparison, if you collect cars or porcelain, you get an even light. There's a small car van in the yellow light. And then at the back there, you can see it's just nicely illuminated with its poor door hanging off. <laughs> So, um, we'll leave it at that, and I'll probably do a more professional um, video um, when I've got more time. <laughs>